And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northeast there. Yeah, we have fairly cloudy skies there right now. And it was very colorful, however, in my office when I arrived today. This is what I found. Um, I might have had phone messages. I don't know. My phone was buried at this point in hundreds of balloons. Daryl Rommeld, our sports guy, has struck again. This is the third time he has ambushed my office. The first time he wrapped it in gift wrap, everything from the computer to the mouse to everything on my desk. Second time he created a blizzard in my office, and today it was balloons. But if you go onto our C CTV Lethbridge Facebook page, you will see my revenge as I dropped all the balloons back in his office and he had to dispose of them. 18 degrees, we do work here as well too, folks. 18 degrees is our current high. We got there at 2 p.m. this afternoon. Six degrees was our low and we got there at 2 a.m. Winds are still out of the west. Our humidity is uh, not really elevated. It's right around where it, it should be for this time of the year, but we're expecting it to peak a little bit in the evening hours. We've got some leftover instability, uh, not a surprise after what we had earlier today and yesterday. Temperatures all over reflecting uh, fairly decent uh, temperatures for considering what we have gone through. Temperatures have taken a hit a few degrees uh, below those temperatures as the thunderstorms rolled through. But you can see the core of that low pressure center is now rotating in central Saskatchewan. So Prince Albert, Duck Lake, those areas have heavy rainfall warnings. They could see 80 to 100 millimeters of rain in the next 24 hours. And then areas like Weyburn, east all the way across the Manitoba border, severe thunderstorm warnings and watches from that. You can see though the system still has pockets of some severe weather, some thunderstorm activity, but it's really breaking up as the rotation around that low. And as I said, the core is in Saskatchewan right now, but the rotation around it is, is quite a wide rotational band. So we do have these pockets of precipitation still trying to make their way east. We have an area of high pressure that's moving in from the Oregon coast. And there you can see just the leading edge of it starting to move in tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at pretty nice conditions. But having said that, just that leftover instability, a little bit of daytime heating. We could be around 21 degrees for daytime high tomorrow. Don't be surprised if we get some late afternoon, evening thunderstorm shower activity out of that mix, but we're still keeping an eye on that. But for the most part, we're looking at that area of high pressure move in, but it's just doesn't take much to redevelop that thunder shower activity when you've got all this instability. Down east, speaking of instability, system move, moving out of James Bay and one moving across the Great Lakes. They had mostly sunny skies in many areas of eastern Canada today, but as they move into the weekend, those two systems are going to collide, and they've got some showers and thunder showers they're expecting. 25 degrees in Winnipeg right now, and as I mentioned, the real disturbances, Prince Albert, and then from Weyburn across into uh, Manitoba for thunderstorm warnings, and of course, Prince Albert looking at that 80 to 100 millimeters of rain possible in the next 24 hours. Sun and cloud mix on the coast in Vancouver, sun and cloud up north in Whitehorse, Yellowknife seeing a little bit of shower activity, but they also had mostly a sun and cloud mix 21 degrees current temperature way up there. East Kootenai looking at uh, partly cloudy skies with a chance of evening showers tonight. 7 for a low, 21 for a high tomorrow. You'll have a sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day. In Crow's Nest Pass looking at cloudy skies tonight. Chance of showers 9 degrees for a low. Tomorrow sun and cloud mix. That late day active weather is expected in your area in the form of a shower or possible thunder shower. Medicine Hat you're looking at uh, chance of evening showers or thunder showers tonight and then clearing after midnight but Late in the day tomorrow, you too could see that late afternoon, early evening shower, thunder shower activity. In Lethbridge, we're looking at partly cloudy skies tonight, 8 degrees for a low. We do have a chance of a shower, a thunder shower tonight. And then again, late in the day tomorrow, after the bulk of the day, is a very pleasant sun and cloud mix. Just that late day, daytime heating is still going to possibly trigger some activity late in the day tomorrow. Sunday, we're looking at sunny skies, high of 21, 24 and sunny on Monday. And then as we head further into the weekend, Wednesday, Day looks to be the target day when we can expect a redevelopment of some shower activity. So we've got a fairly good stretch ahead and we'll be able to get lots of activities in tomorrow, even with that chance of late day shower, thunder shower activity. Cherie, congratulations. Cherie has worked for over 25 years in the healthcare system uh, as an employee, but volunteering and specifically working with people with Alzheimer's, which is uh, very timely because tomorrow, of course, we have the memory walk starting at 9 a.m. with registration at Henderson Lake. So congratulations, Cherie. We have a basket here for you. That's it for me. Have a safe evening and a safe weekend, everyone. Talk to you Monday.
going for a short walk after meals could lower the risk for type 2 diabetes. Researchers say it's important to fight those instincts to lay down on the couch and watch TV after dinner. Here's why. A small U.S. study finds walking after meals can stop blood sugar levels from rising too high, a common problem in older adults. Walking after dinner had the most significant impact because having high blood pressure, high blood sugar rather, before going to sleep is bad for your health. And Calgary researchers are hoping that playing video games will turn out to be a good rehab for stroke patients. Art Cunningham had a stroke in April. It affected his left side. Playing Wii is part of his therapy. He's participating in a rehab study. The goal is to compare Wii to other traditional games used in therapy, like card games or Jenga building blocks. When I first came in uh, in April, I could the best I could get out of this arm was uh, just my pinky movement, and that was it. And, and you can look at me now. I'm I'm swinging and I'm bowling. And uh, my flat hands, I'm controlling the, using the buttons, which I, uh, before I started, I wasn't able to do that. It's hoped that once the patients get hooked on the Wii game, they will continue their rehab at home playing Wii. Still ahead on the CTV News at 5. Summer has barely begun, but we are already looking at the NHL draft. Well, the Stanley Cup finals aren't even over yet, and uh, we have to look ahead to the draft because it's such a big one for the Calgary Flames, who are busy preparing. They've got three first-rounders, Jackie. Three of them.